No. All right, so let me show everybody what Suzanne went through uh, in an animation. And this is how researchers say that magnets work to ease depression. And it's you know, set up this complex set of, electro of electrical and, and signals in the brain. So this is a magnet, right? And the magnet stimulates those coils, electromagnetic waves. And those magnets are placed on the right side of the brain. Those red waves that we're showing there go down to the prefrontal cortex. They are affecting these neurons because uh, magnets, the, the, the energy will do that. It gets into the neuron and it moves the ions back and forth. So the neurons will talk to each other differently. It turns the cells on in the brain that have been put to sleep. It also changes the blood flow to the brain. It enlarges those blood vessels. It allows you to take more oxygen as those electric ma magnetic waves will create a cascade of, of events which change the electrical pathways by which we process information. Dr. Adam Shapiro is helping us. Uh, thank you, for Dr. Shapiro, for joining us. Um, and Dr. Shapiro, walk us through how we're going to be doing this. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is what we would do at the beginning of a treatment. The beginning of the treatment is we're going to find the part of the brain that controls your thumb. Once we figure out where the thumb is, we can determine the dose and the location we need to go to to treat for depression. So all the action, though, is this magnet right here. Right. Everything else is just holding Suzanne in place, so it's, it's, it's targeted to the right spot. Right. Okay. All right. So we're going to look at your hand. Should I hold her or just let it go? We, uh, we she, can, she can have it. Right. We call this the hitchhiker's position. Okay. And we're going to be observing for the thumb twitch. And this is what uh, Dr. Oz uh, shows you, where they have good positioning in the head. Okay. So we've done it all very exactly. Here we go, Suzanne. I'm going to give you a pulse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we do. Could you all see that? Uh, that's thumb moved. Do we'll do it one more time. You, you didn't do it on purpose. You couldn't. You didn't. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a strong do. So we go down a little bit. That's a strong. <laughs> so it's an involuntary movement that shows that the electromagnetic waves are go. penetrating through the skull to the brain in the there right spot. Okay. So that's about exactly how much we need. A little okay. bit of a twitch okay. of the thumb. So now we know that we are in that region. Then the computer will calculate how much forward we need to go to the prefrontal cortex to treat the depression. All right, so this is now, now we're ready to do the treatment. And that provides a rapid pulse of TMS for four seconds with a 26 second break. And Suzanne, you know how it feels, yep. right? You ready for it? You don't feel anything when, when this hits? Should I hold your hand or get away from you? Suzanne, you wanna? Oh no, I feel, um, when it hits, it's like just a tapping on your head. Okay, here it goes. Here we go. So there's no pain. That's it. That's it. Okay, and it's called TMS for, for transcranial trans magnetic stimulation. So if you're all asking for it, you can use those words, TMS, you or you can use magnetic pulse. stimulation, which might be easier for you to remember. And, and how, how, how many treatments usually does it take? You treat every day, uh, but five days a week. So you can spread that over a seven-day period. And we do between three to six weeks until the person not just gets better, but gets completely well. And that's our goal. Completely well. Right. So we're really treating remission not just response. So, I mean, you've done research on this. Right. It seems to be you know, an FDA-approved device. Yes. So why is every psychiatrist in the country not thinking about this uh, for their patients? That's a very good question. And, in fact, it is spreading. So this was FDA-approved three years ago. And in the last three years, there's almost 400 practices that provide it. What was it? Three years ago, it was approved. Right. How many of you have heard about this before today's show? This device has been available since my show launched three years ago, and not a single person here has heard about it. How can that be? Now, the problem, the limitation, is insurance, as you would guess. You know, most insurance plans would pay for it, but only after the fact. So we had to go through the appeals process, and even then... If I go from 20 medications to nothing and feel like I'm better, which is what I'm, that smile on your face seems revealed to me, I'd have that conversation with my insurer. Dr. Burr, thank you very much. Dr. Shapiro, okay. appreciate it. Suzanne, thank you for bringing this alive to us. All right, next.